Now Breeze over the middle to Smith. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. It's third down. Breeze now to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Breeze pass. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for New Orleans. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead and the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. On play action, they'll throw. On the crossing route, he hits his man, Amari Cooper. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So first and 10 now from the 30. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Nigel Bradham. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half, those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. It's the two Fs for a rookie quarterback. So after the INT, it's Breeze. He's going to drop this one down for Murray. Breeze it's a gain of five, and it'll be a second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll pass complete here to Sanders. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Breeze. Going with a screen for Murray. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Three yards the gain there, second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. That was second down run for Murray. 
And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Latavius Murray, his second touchdown of the night. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. He's having a nice little game. Maybe already has an eye on that third touchdown. And how about what our producer, Christian McLeod, likes to say when they've scored touchdowns like this? He's put a tent up in Touchdown City. Lots of look to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A drive there of just four plays. And it culminates with a Latavius Murray touchdown run. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First and 10. At their own 20. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And it was his interception on the last drive that wound up leading to a game-tying touchdown. And somehow you can make this a positive, though. You know why? Game tied now. So you're not protecting a lead. So you're not playing that way. You've got to go get the lead again. So maybe it loosens him up a little bit and allows him to go ahead and be a little more free in his play. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Three at the 31-yard line. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He's going to find Gallup here complete. The pass. The Cowboys on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and five. Third and five. This to Jarwin. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Here's Pollard. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Here's second and eight. His throw incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And it's third down. Incomplete. Janoris Jenkins on the He'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Well, now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And as a fan of the NFL, not much more you could hope for in this divisional round matchup. Tie game, fourth quarter. A lot of these fans with their hearts in their throats waiting to see what happens here. Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, 
They almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Again, it's Murray. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Latavius Murray, the ball carrier. He's Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is when every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. To back good plays have them on the move on first down. Play action, Breeze. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That catch good for only a couple. A four receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. Brings up second and eight. That'll be complete to Cook. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. The Saints on third down. They've converted seven times and could use another right now. Here it's third and three. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. So we'll recount real quick. He had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Here's Pollard again. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's good. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now Pollard. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. The ball carrier. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. It's fourth down. comes the Cowboys punter. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They'll run for it with Pollard. 
And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Good for a cowboy. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. A gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the Saints 37-yard line. On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll go down at the 28. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. First down, and it's Pollard again. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll run with Pollard. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. On second down, Pollard. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Cox under a minute. Still plenty of time, Parker. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. On second down now, Pollard, and that's a touchdown as they broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown late in the game. They look like they're in control, but still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also, on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together, make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. The zero line now for the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it's capped off by the late touchdown. It's a seven-point lead here in the final minute of the game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's Harris to return it. Deontay Harris on the return. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own. 20. Drew Brees in the offense. Down by seven, 20 seconds to go. This is where your playoff medal is tested. On the road, needing a touchdown to stay alive as they've got it first and 10. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Demarcus Lawrence, his second sack of the night. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. And the Cowboys will advance to the next round as we say thanks for watching and so long, everybody. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.
take another L. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they splash? Did they drill? Hey, hey, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. Yeah, yeah, this the winning team. Six rings with a pinky ring. Everybody used to pick at me, now I'm the one that they picking. Snake shout, they hit scene, but I can't hear it when the crowd screams. Still balling like an offspring. This for all the ones that doubted me. Gotta lose ones to be a true winner. Only want the hundreds with the blues in it. Cross it where the blood dealer just stay turned like you know. I've been through that water like Olympic swimmers, only bread and butter. What we ate for dinner, so I had to dream it till the dream is bigger. Only want the gold, we don't need the silver. Gotta be number one, number two, never count. Used to have bubble guts competition, now pouring them out. Making my babies proud, wanna cop my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the drought. Yeah, I buy like, I buy like 23. 23. Won't fall again and I put that on. I feel away my heart all on my sleeve. Yeah. That's why I had to put my wrist on freeze. Come for the win, can't take another L. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they splash? Did they drill? Hey, hey, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. Reaching my goals, I do not feel ashamed. I'm a dog, I'm a beast, and I cannot be tamed. I don't do it for fame, it's the love for the game. I go in like I'm trying.